On the guitar, half steps can be found from one fret to the next. A fret is the space between the fret bars. If I push down and play a note at the first fret of the guitar, then play a note at the second fret, I have played two notes a half step apart. Therefore, any two frets next to each other make notes that are a half step apart. Let's compare a piano diagram to a diagram of the guitar fingerboard. If we start on E on the piano, we can see that the closest note to the right is F. Therefore, F is a half step higher than E. On the guitar fingerboard, E is the highest open string. Since each fret represents a half step, an F note would be played by pressing down the string, at the first fret. Returning to the piano, we can see that F to F sharp or G flat is a half step. Therefore, the next note on the high E string of the guitar will be F sharp or G flat. If we continue to compare the piano to the guitar, we will see that the next note that's a half step up is G. Then G sharp or A flat. Then A. Then A sharp or B flat. Then B. Then C. Then C sharp or D flat. Then D. Then D sharp or E flat, followed by E. Since most guitars have more than 12 frets, you can find additional notes by starting again on E. Now that we have applied our knowledge of half steps on the piano to the E string on the guitar, we have the knowledge to diagram the entire fingerboard. The second string on the guitar is the B string. Moving back to the piano, if we start on B and go up a half step, we find C. Therefore, the first fret of the B string will be C. From C, we move to C sharp or D flat for the second fret. And D for the third fret. We will continue in this manner by half steps like with the E string till we have diagrammed all of the notes on the B string. The third string on the guitar is G, the fourth string D, the fifth string A, and the sixth string the low E. Continue up each of these strings in half steps by referencing the piano diagram to finish mapping the guitar.